What's going on, people? I want to talk to you guys for a moment, just a moment. And I want to share a piece of an interview that was between Roseanne Barr and Monique. Now, after watching the entire interview, I have a whole new level of respect for Monique. Monique and some other celebrities, they know some stuff that you don't really hear them talk about too often when you start dealing with the unseen. Now, there's the unseen, the spiritual realm, that maybe only a few can see. But then there's the unseen realm that's right here on Earth that people like celebrities and people that's working in the dark arts and those that are spiritual are able to discern. And in most cases, we won't speak on it because most of the population really don't understand. Although much of the population had experiences, much of the population is afraid to speak on it because of what they might view as potential repercussions or the fact that people might think that they have lost it all. But I'm going to share this clip with you, fair use, between Roseanne Barr and Monique talking about aliens and something that Monique experienced. And then I'm going to let you listen to a video that I made about a year ago regarding a vision I had of an open portal and beings coming through that portal. Listen to what Monique is saying in this video. Do y'all see what's happening? It's like we're fighting and going through it and it just this and that and this and that. What happens when the sky opens up? Now who mad at who? What happens when the sky opens up? I would really say, do you think an aliens are going to come here? A lot of people do think that. Do I think they're going to come? You think aliens are coming? Or you think, baby, I think yeah. yeah. Did you see some of these people walking around? You like, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I see you not swallowing. I see you not swallowing, baby. Yes, indeed. Why? You ain't blinked in six minutes. I saw that. Yeah. I oh that. well, if you're gonna go there, then I'm gonna go right there with you because I've been faking like I didn't see that, but. Yeah, I really go there all the time. Yeah, I don't even think half of these people on TV or whatever we're seeing, they're, I don't even think they're human. It might be some AI shit they cooked up to get us to look over here while they're stealing all our money. But, you know, I don't even know if they're real human. I don't know if they're yes, alien or what, or if they're, I don't know. I want y'all to look at my neck. I got a fat neck. You see that, Rosemary? Mm -hmm, I do. Look at mine, it's all wrinkled. If y'all see another Monique and that neck ain't fat. <laughs> are, you, are you saying that you think they take people out and clone them and put a robot in their place? Well, this is what I'm saying. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. What I know is our eyes, it's like you almost saying, are my eyes deceiving right. me? Am I saying what I think I'm saying? So I don't know what they're doing. I'm just telling y'all, if you see me and my neck ain't fat. <laughs> Did you see that? Come Bill get Biden signing. Sometimes he's signing with the right half of hand and then other time he's signing with the left. Plus sometimes his, his earlobes are not hanging like, sometimes they're like this and sometimes they're hanging like this. I don't know which one's the robot or if he got a facelift or if he's a... Every time I see him, I'm like, somebody go get Joey. Somebody go get him. Somebody go get Joey. Go get him. Go get our baby. Now, go, go, go. He, he Uncle Joey at the cookout. Go get him. <laughs> Y'all know, go get him. Now, shit. Go get him. Hey, there's a neighbor he that, when I was a kid, they, they're, they're, they came over, they go... Hey, somebody found Grandpa. He walked 30 miles uh, <laughs> to the next town. They thought he was just going to the store, but he forgot where he was going. They found him 30 miles away. Yeah, that's what it's like. Yeah, yes. you're right. 
you'd be like, somebody get our baby. Somebody, somebody go get him. Because, you know, we go. And we know, wait, but listen, listen, go get him. What's his wife's name, Jill? Yeah. You'd be like, Jill, go get Joe. Go get him. Because. <laughs> Uh, well, do you think they're nefarious? Like, do you think they, that it could be they're aliens that's out here to just drink our blood and live? Now, I want you guys to pay attention to what Monique is about to say. She's about to share some jewels with you. And I'm sure this is go, go, will go over many people's head. But she's about to share some jewels. Listen to what Monique is about to say. Leave our corpse laying there, taking our livers and kids. Do you think they're going to play with the Again, I don't know what they're doing. But if you ever FaceTime me and my neck ain't fat, okay. I'm the know it to come get me. You come get me. Yeah. Listen, I was doing a show in New York, right? This is the first time I've shared this story. Public. I was doing a show one night in New York. And this guy had on sunglasses in the front row. And I said, listen, I'm not going to keep coming back over here seeing you with these sunglasses. There's no sun in here. And you being disrespectful, I need to be able to see you, right? So he laughing, and I walk to the other side of the stage. I come back. I said, you, you think I'm playing. If you don't take them damn glasses off, Roseanne, he lifted up his glasses, and everything was black. Oh, he didn't have any eyes? Did you hear what I said? What? He lifted up glasses and everything was black. The energy I got from oh. him was, do you, right, do you want to comment? I looked back at him and the energy I gave him was, I'm going to mind my business and walk my ass back down to the other side of the stage because I want to keep my fat neck. I'm not questioning oh. shit. Keep your glasses on. I bought him a drink too because I didn't want him to go no further. I didn't want him to be offended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary. So, you know, we don't know what. I thought you meant he just had like a black holes there with no eyes. No, no. There was just complete mm -hmm. black. Like it wasn't, it, it was like, it was as if take my eyeball, just make my eyeball all yeah. black. Yeah. No white yeah. to the eye. Just did. did you hear what Monique said? That was quite interesting. Now, I want you guys to listen to a dream or vision that I had about a year ago. Peep this. I said, and then she walked in and she walked and she looked. She went inside the door. And I'm like, you going in there? Now, before I start this, I want to go back to the beginning of this, okay? I want you guys to hear the beginning of this. Check it out. Okay, I just recently woke up out of a dream. And I want to tell this dream before I actually forget it. Um, I dreamt that I was at my store. It was me, uh, one of my nephews, and another family member. And as you walk into my store, of course, there's the store area. And then as you walk further back, there's a door. Inside that door is a little storage area. Well, in the dream, when I walked into the storage area, I noticed on the far right of me, on that wall, was an open door with a light shining out as if uh, someone turned the light on. Now, in my store, there is no door there. But in the dream, it was a door. And the door was open. So my family member, she walked in and she like, and I called her in and I said, look, I said, there's a door in here. I said, this door, this there's a door in here, right? And I said, and then she walked in and she walked and she looked. She went inside the door. And I'm like, you going in there? So I went over where she was. And when I walked in the door, I walked in part of the way. I didn't go all the way in, but I walked in just enough. And inside this door was another room. 
and to the left was looked like some flower pots or some type of uh, plants or whatever. There was a little creature, looked like a little gerbil or something. And she saw it and she picked it up and she was playing with this little gerbil thing. And then all of a sudden, there was like a little leopard about maybe this size, a little tiny leopard. Um, leopard appeared and then it vanished. And I'm like, did you see that? And she said, what? I'm like, did, did you see that little animal? And then it appeared again and then there was another little leopard. Two animals appeared, appeared at the same time. And I'm looking at these little animals, so I'm like, you know what? I said, I think we better back out of this place because we don't know what these creatures are. So as I'm backing out, a human being, a female appeared. She just like, just, just popped in, right? And she's looking at us and we're looking at her, trying to figure out who she was, but we didn't want to run because we didn't know what these people were, where they came from or anything. So then there was another person appeared and she looked at me and she said, you look like a rather strange something. There was a word she used. I've never heard this word before. And she was giving description of my lips. She said, you have some rather whatever lips, whatever. How she described it. And I had asked, I said, where did you guys come from? And she was like, they were just like looking around and was saying that this was a rather strange place. And then she, um, I said, well, I said, what's your name? And she said, her name was Jenna. She said her name was Jenna, right? And I said, where did you come from? And then she's like walking around and I, could, I can't remember the uh, conversation we were having, but we were talking back and forth and I can't remember what she was saying. And so I started slowly backing out of that room and I told my my family member, I said, let's, let's go out. I said, because I don't want these beings and people to come over here, you know, to come in here. So I closed the door. We backed out, closed the door. And I figured, like, once I close that door, everything is cool. Well, after I closed the door, this female kind of, like, popped through the door onto this side. And I'm looking like, and then it was like about two others that came over. And when I was questioning one of them, trying to find out who they were or where they came from, I guess I was standing a little too close. And she was like, so she said something. And this energy kind of like, not violently, but kind of pushed me back or whatever. to kind of put distance between me and her. She didn't really like for us to be too close to her and so i'm trying to talk to these people to find out who they were and where they came from and then i, I finally woke up but there were some other things i can't remember and that's why i wanted to make this video so that what little i do remember i can tell you guys so when i woke up i looked up jenna but there's a lot of females out there named jenna right but this female said her name was Jenna and they came from a different world. They came from a totally different dimension. But when I walked inside uh, that little storage area, there was a door that's not usually there. There's no door there, but it was an open door and a light was shining through. And when I walked inside this little room, I saw these little creatures, uh, these little animals, whatever you want to call them. And there was like two little leopards, right? But they were really small. You can hold them in your hand, in the palm of your hand. Like little leopards and they were they were appearing and then disappearing. You know, I hate using the term pop up, but they were appearing and disappearing. And then these people appeared, you know, and um, I was trying to get out of that room and close the door because I didn't want them to come over into this side and they came like right through the door you know and one of the females she said her name was jenna right so what do you guys think about that did i dream of a portal that is now open